Um, all right, so first up, we have a group who um, periodically in code reviews, um, this I, I would suggest things to this group, like, have you considered doing um, doing something with video chat or doing something with this or that? But they were very, very um, steadfast about their product design, which is always very encouraging to see. So they had a vision, and they have brought it to fruition. Um, so the, our first project is Codeboard. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today. My name is Fanny and my teammates are Rachel, Cheatham, and Ruth. And our project is called Codeboard. So when we first started brainstorming for our project, we thought about a problem that we all faced as developers. Coding algorithms for technical interviews are really tough when the question is presented to you um, via voice rather than displayed as text on a computer screen. Practicing for technical interviews requires a different set of skills than we're used to, and we wanted to create an app that would help a developer practice for these interviews on their own. During our research, we couldn't find any apps or services that um, replicated the, the experience of a technical interview without having to schedule a practice session with a total stranger. So we decided to build Codeboard, an app that uses audio as the main form of feedback for uh, simulating a technical interview. And now Rachel will walk us through how a user would use Codeboard. Thanks, Fanny. So Cody, a recent Grace Hopper graduate, is using our site as she prepares for interviews. She can select a question by category or by difficulty. Once she's ready and makes sure her volume is on, the app will read the question and the timer will start. Given a directed graph, design an algorithm to determine if there is a root between two nodes by returning true or false. She can ask it to repeat the question, but only once, because in the real interview, you wouldn't ask them to repeat it, say, five times. Yeah. So uh, Cody starts diagramming and realizes she needs a hint. Try a breadth first search. There are two or three hints per question. So now she starts writing her code, and when she thinks she solved it, she can check her work. Your function should throw an error if given an invalid graph. So Cody keeps coding and runs tests again. Congrats, you passed all of the tests. She can also view optimized solutions. Now Cheetah will show you what happens next. Thanks, Rachel. After completing a question, Cody can save the solution and she will be notified that the code and the drawing has been saved. If she wants to keep on practicing, she can select a new question without navigating to another page. She selects the question, starts working on it, but if she realizes that she needs to continue on working at a later time, she saves the question and leaves the code board. When she returns back the code board, she can navigate to my account page to see the questions that she worked on and saved. She sorts the questions according to categories, difficulty levels, and uh, status, whether they are pending or complete. She picks the question she wants to keep working on, and she will be able to continue where she left off. Now, Ruth will be talking about the technologies we use, the challenges we went through, and how we accomplished them. Thanks, Cheatham. We used a variety of technologies while building Codeboard. On the back end, we're using Postgres to store user and question data, and SQLize with Express to route information. On the front end, we're using React Redux for a modular approach, Material UI and Bootstrap for styling, React Ace for user code input, Mocha and Chai to test user code. Now I'll discuss some of the tech challenges we faced while building Codeboard. Due to the design of Mocha, it was difficult to rerun user code and obtain spoken results. As a solution, we used code to reset Mocha tests and Mocha if functions to hold phrases for the voice synthesizer to speak when tests fail. Another challenge we faced was deciding on the correct whiteboard to use. While building our project, we solicited user feedback, which helped us realize users were most interested in drawing and saving sketches. This led us to implement a canvas that could be easily saved. In conclusion, we really enjoyed building Codeboard. You can check out our app at codeboard.tech, where you can start practicing for your technical interview today. Thank you. I really like this. I really like this because 
one of the issues with um, applications that require other people is that sometimes your friends are busy. And, uh, and so this is a, a, just a, a really nice, um, simple way to be able to practice code interviews in a real way with, you know, without needing other people. I think they were, I think they were right too, that the, one of the hard things about interviews is that you're getting it via your ear instead of looking yeah. at code, right? I, I never right. realized how much of a difference that is, that it's really hard to randomly access like a audio. Right, whereas like yeah. when we're reading, we're kind of thinking. It, it's that. a very different set of um, cognitive skills. You yeah. need to process that. Very cool, and I, li I like the whiteboard too. I think that's another good thing to practice as well. Yeah, some sketching. Um, I think we need like better pen input systems. Yeah, that's really that's powerful. true. I, I struggle with that. Um, yeah, we'll get us to the surface. Yeah. And... <laughs>